Okay, let's get this party started. <laughs> Alrighty. So, here's the fun part about this is I know for a fact I've got at least one of my little minions, uh, I mean players, <laughs> watching, maybe more. But, I don't really care. I don't necessarily need to hide anything because it's just a map. I don't have to say what's going on in the map. But it's a map. So we got maps. We're gonna make maps. <laughs> also, hey Jiggly, hey Nora, what's happening? You too. So, real quick, just to go over, this is a, a program that I acquired uh, called Dungeon Draft, and it allows you to do some pretty cool things. Uh, if you guys were watching uh, the past couple episodes, the haunted house uh, was made fully here in this, and we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, but we're going to do things a little differently here because normally what you can do is say you want to do something with this weird cobblestone pattern here, this Roman tiles. You can choose the building you want, the floor, then you choose the wall. Uh, we'll do this wood thing. And then you can just draw and it will make the room as you want it. Oh, that's not what we have planned for today. No, no, no. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, have one of Nora's favorite things, and that's sewers. <laughs> sewers. Right, Nora? <laughs> now, I didn't say there would be spooters in the sewer. I just said there would be sewers. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll make door spooters. <laughs> but anyway, that's kind of the plan for today is sewers, maybe some cave tunnels here. But there's all kinds of things we can do. But right now, we're going to use these sewer map tiles. Now, uh, for those who might remember Lagaria, uh, I the same sewer tiles were used there. <laughs> That's fine, but who is Verzad? I thought you were Verzad. <laughs> Nora can't even uh, spell his own character name, right? So we can go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna try and you know we're gonna have some fun with the sewer. Now the easy part is this. You know, we do this, we drop the the easy part is making the sewer tile. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. We are gonna go to our objects tool up here, and we're gonna start building ourselves a big old sewer. Uh, where do we want to start? We want to do lower, uh, just spiders. I mean, Jiggly, let's be honest, if Spider-Man shot actual spiders instead of webs, there'd be a lot less crime. Let's be honest. Let's be 100% honest. Alright, so the question now becomes, where do we want to start? Do we want to start here, 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 here? I want to start in one of the corners to allow me to build. It just depends on which corner. <laughs> it just depends on which corner we want to start in. <laughs> yes, giving me all sorts of ideas. So, Nora, since you are the one with the uh, with the spood or sewer phobia, where do you want to start? Upper left, upper right, lower right, or lower left? Hmm. <laughs> 
Not in the sewer. Well, the sewer is not an option. Not in the sewer is not an option. Okay? Not an option at all. Upper left. Okay. We're going to start up here in the upper left. I think we want to go this way. Perfect. Also, I love how this perfectly lines up. It's fantastic. This is great. I love it. So we're going to just have lots of fun connecting these sewer tiles. Um, they don't necessarily have to match or make sense. But we're going to try like heck. Why? Because we can. That's why. No, we don't need that one. I guess we're just going straight here. So this is the fun and easy part about this. is it's pretty much done like look how easy easy this was nope no 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 not there we need to line everything up there we go and hey look we've got ourselves a sewer map but now We get to place things like this ladder for example oh hey look that's how we're getting out <laughs> and this ladder for example oh hey that's how we're getting in <laughs> uh, so now while we're, we're, we're sitting here we're making this we're having having some fun um, what do we want to see in these sewers guys what do we want to see in these sewers Actually, you want to see something really cool? Let's go to the water brush here for a second. And we'll do a small thing here. I can actually, if I wanted to, Oh, you can't see it because it's underneath. No sewer sharks, yeah. See, unfortunately, I can't do what I wanted to do because it's underneath, but... Uh, real quick, where is layer one? There we go, in theory. Nope. Uh, I, can't, uh, I can't add the water the way I want it to. See, as you can see, all this... Because these are tiles, they're going to take the spot of the water. So we can just only uh, add lighting and toys to it, which is fine. So we continue to add, like, and, and Jiggly, when it comes to adding uh, the encounters, that is something that we're going to do later. I don't want, you know... Nora or Krim or Chammy or Dark to, to wander upon the stream and to know what we're planning for encounters. I don't care if they see the map. Like, I have no issue if my people see the map.
because the point of this isn't to hide the map. The point of this is to make the map. So we'll get some wall light in there. Um, <laughs> wait, why is there lighting in the sewers? So well, that's something we'll have to figure out. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I'm going to zoom out here for a little bit so I can get the rest of this. Because uh, with the 50% map how I had it, I couldn't snap on the bottom because my tools were in the way. Ooh, look at that. Ah, that's a gator. <laughs> hey, Nora, you still there? You want a gator? <laughs> Alien eggs. Uh, not too much Dark Shadows. We just went live probably 10 minutes ago. Uh, we're just doing some map making here. That's all. Uh, just so we can have some maps ready to go uh, for Diastasi. Uh, this one is just your basic sewer map. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty much done already. This is one of the easier ones because I did buy some assets from uh, a place called Two Minute Tabletop. Shoutouts to them. And uh, that's what we're making our maps here with is these two minute tabletops. But, so this is a nice easy map. This was the first one just sort of like a, to, to get in the process, sort of see, show what was going on. Uh, we're gonna get into this, uh, a couple of more different maps later, but um, to have the sewer map here, cause this is a nice generic map. Um, but I guess the thing is now it is um, I think there's one other map I think I need to make for tomorrow. I don't know how far we'll get. I don't even know if we'll get here tomorrow, uh, depending on, on what happens, where people go, etc., etc. Um, but what we do want to do is we want to save it so we have it. So we're gonna do two things. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save this as. as the uh, sewers, the Omedo sewers, but then this is the more important one. This will actually export the map to a Roll20 format so it's easy to put on. So I go to my export options here uh, and then we go to, where are you? Grid presets, you go to Roll20 and it'll output it how you need to go. So then you just export and this is Omedo sewers and it exports you the proper size map for roll 20 so with that being said this was nice and simple I can add encounters to this there was nothing too crazy about this map here uh, there are other maps uh, other things that need to be made and we don't necessarily have to make them for encounters happening you know tomorrow in Diastasi which by the way you should all tune in around 9 30 bye 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 around 9 30 eastern p around 30 p.m eastern time tomorrow for uh, session four of diastasi uh where we continue on to see what the hummingbird uh is uh trying to do there with our crew in the haunted manor or the formerly haunted manor so uh just gonna give you guys a little tease about that that's what's coming up tomorrow so we've got this map taken care of but we want to do something new right so we're gonna hit the new button I'm going to use the 30 by 30 tiles. Uh, now, interesting, if I wanted to, I can start with this map wizard here, which uh, map wizard will allow me to sort of generate. So we want to do a cave. Uh, we want to make, we'll make a complex here. And if I wanted to, as we make this 50%, it could, if I hit generate, it'll generate something right here by itself. I don't have to do anything. Like, it will do it. Which is kind of cool. Or, if we wanted to generate a dungeon, it can do that instead. Nice square blocks, you know, things like that. And we can do it all kinds of ways. Like, we can make the floor blue. We can make the floor this weird checkerboard pattern, which is kind of off-putting, but also kind of cool. 
We can do this weird tile set. Like, and this is just pre-generated dungeons. That I can just go ahead and then mess with later. But we do want a cave system. That's kind of what we want. But my question is, why would we go about and just generate a map like this? Or even a less complex map. Hey, Tropical Guy, how is it going? When we can go in and we can have the tools to do it ourselves. So this is just a, a fun little option that we have. Uh, we can make it less dense, less complex, more dense, less complex. You know, big cave here. Like I don't, I don't hate this at all. Also, check out the hidden Mickey down here. <laughs> See a little hidden Mickey Mouse. Um, but I don't necessarily like the fact that uh, it gives us that. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to make one ourselves. And what we can do here is, as you can see, this brush is actually going to allow us to make our cave ourself. However, we choose to do it. Allow us to do branching paths. Allow us to do like big offshoots of cave, medium offshoots of cave. So we're gonna go ahead and delete all of that because well, uh, we want to uh, not necessarily do it all that way. And there's, uh, and there's the brush modes too. But again, this is just me having fun and experimenting with that, but I definitely think we want to do a cave. Now, the question here is, what color do we want to make the cave ground? Do we want this, this, you know, this gross gray color? Do we want it more like a darker color like this? We want dig where it's more akin to that color I mean that that's the decision or or do we want to do something more along that line that line like that's the question is what color do we want the cave so I think right now I'm going to keep it generic color and then we can go mess with it later. So now the question becomes, everybody, how big do we want this cave? We'll go back to this normal. Anybody have any 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 comments, concerns, thoughts, complaints? You know, file all complaints with Noraystra, please. At Noraystra. Both here and on Twitter. So... Also, the other thing that we can do here is we're going to do caves. So we have the cave. We can also go to this terrain and say we want a sandy terrain. We can go ahead and make this sandy if we wanted to. So then we could go back to our cave tool and have sandy cave. So, that's where we're at. I think right now we should be building the cave. So, let's go. How, how do we want to do this cave, everybody? Do we want it windy? Do we want it straight? And, again, I don't want to spoil too much here, but my thought process for this cave is, is 
This is where the sewers are going to spit out into. Spoiler alert for those of you who are part of Diastasi. You're going to go from sewers to cave. Will there be a bow in this cave? Maybe, but it wouldn't be for Nora Jiggly because Nora's not the one who uses the bows. That's Chammy and Dovan. So it could be a bow all we want, but I mean, one, Nora wouldn't use it. Two, Nora wouldn't find it. I mean, there is that. So I'm just going to keep, you know, drawing cave here. To start with. And we have a nice little map, cave map here. We'll extend this a little bit here. Just so we have a sort of an entrance and an exit. Right? So now it's, okay, what do we want to do? Well, I think what we want to do first is widen this cave out a little bit. Because that doesn't seem fun for people to walk through. So let's widen it out. And suddenly, we have a cave. A nice big cave. Now we can take the smaller brush and make a little offshoot pass if we want to. Like, say, up here. See if we wanted to, you know, make a small little alcove that might have a treasure chest or something in it. <laughs> or down here. And then, then, so we, we have this caveman. So now let's, let's, let's mess with the color a little bit. Too dark, I think. I kind of like this sandy color. So we have this sort of sandy cave, or we can just go with a generic cave. What do you guys think? I know I got a couple of you here, so uh, what do you guys think as we do this color? And while we're doing this, I'm going to go to the terrain. Because I want the outside of this to be rocks. Nora, did I say anything about mimics? When did I say mimic? I would put chests in here. There are reasons I would put chests in here. You don't need to know those reasons. I do know that you can't help yourself. But yeah, I guess you can use this terrain tool here to throw gravel down. And we have a nice little rocky sediment here. It looks, you know, kind of that. And if I wanted to, you know, we can make it snowy, which we don't want to. We can make it dirt, but we want the gravel. Although, I am a fan of, you know, Throwing some just random white in. I think it kind of looks cool. But I think we're just going to stay with the full gravel look for now. <laughs> yeah. You can change the terrain 
here to get different things. And you have all of, all of, all of these. So there's actually this rocky terrain too. Which doesn't suck either. So, is there a tool I can use to throw shade? There might be. Oh yeah, yeah, we haven't gotten into there yet. I'm just making the cave itself because we want moss and plants and all that. We're gonna go to our object tool and we're gonna go here. Uh, we can go to molds and oh not molds, mushrooms. Mushrooms would probably be a thing. Yeah, so we definitely have mushroom options here. We have some creepy vines if we want to but yeah we can go to the mushroom section yes there's a mushroom section here and just you know throw piles of mushrooms down You know, I, I don't disagree with you there, uh, uh, Person Dynamo. So, also, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're going to continue with the mushrooms here for a, a, a minute uh, to, to, to do that. And then we can uh, go back to the gravel rock here. But yeah, we can throw lots of mushrooms here in this cave, which makes total sense, actually. Um, we can actually continue through uh, what we have for options if we want to oh there's some grave stuff what am i looking for uh, we have this garden stuff uh shout out to the cabbage salesman here we have some cabbages over here dirt piles i like dirt piles creatures hey look nora a spider We've got dead spiders. I like this. <laughs> so, and, and here's and the deeper we get into this cave, the less. The less uh, mushrooms are going to be there because, you know, we're farther away from. We're farther away from. The sewers. So there's less of the water for that. There, there we go. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> oh, the memes are strong with you all today. And I do appreciate the memes being strong. Uh, Nora, I don't have control over that. Only one person can do that, and they're not here. So let's go back to this terrain brush for a second. Um, we're gonna shrink the brush size down, go to gravel. And we're gonna add sort of that gravelly look here. 
actually shrink it down a little more kind of add the gravel to the outside here so there is still some of that rockiness but also still have that rocky interior so while we're going ahead and doing this how are you guys all doing today uh, on this fine saturday here near the middle ish towards the end of january uh, i'll tell you right now where i'm living it is cold as heck it is 16 degrees and that's going to be our high for the day so how are you guys all doing today uh you know jiggly tropical guy nora dynamo dark shadows you know how are you guys all doing today or gals or, or, or non-binary pals depending on what you are i don't want to assume anything here <laughs> less cold Yes, but your negative six is uh, Celsius, right, Jiggly? Yeah, so I don't know the exact conversion, but it's pretty similar in temperature. I mean, because, you know, 23 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Fahrenheit, at that point... It's all just stupid cold. Ah. Nora used the Google machine. <laughs> Define stupid snow, Jiggly. Define stupid, stupid snow. Oh, that is a lot of snow. So as I'm continuing to do this, we want to have some, you know, some more conversations here. In addition to how is everybody doing, the other question that I have for all of you watching live here is, for those of you who may have been uh, keeping up to date with Diastasi, or those of you who haven't all that, um, I want to know, one, if uh, you've been enjoying our shenanigans so far, and two, if you have any theories based on the information you've seen so far. Nora, I'll even take your theories uh, and see if you have an idea of what's going on. Because I like hearing theories. Because it, it tells me, you know, uh, it, it gives me an idea as to how I'm presenting my information. They are being bad in time to kill. Are you sure about that? Or is that just you in character saying that? Yeah, Nora, they are the same. Stupid cold. Okay, so we've got our nice little gravel set up here. I actually like how that looks. So, uh, person, thank you for that idea. That actually looks really, really cool. Uh, we are going to get rid of that because we don't need that here. <clears throat> PC level of knowledge. Okay, that is fair. Uh, I'm asking you more from a, a, a player perspective, not a PC perspective. 
do you have any theories? And I, and I want to hear them because, you know, one, it allows me to know if, uh, if I'm doing the right thing with my, with my, with my information letting, or it might give me uh, ideas in general as to, you know, what I might want to do. No, it didn't. It had a hummingbird. What, were you expecting a chainsaw, Nora? Are you disappointed I didn't give you a chainsaw? There you are. There it is! There we go. Now that's what we want. Haunted house last Halloween. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yes, yes, you did. You did. Cool. I can do the water there if I want to. That's right. I forgot that you you did. It's been a while, okay? You you wanted me to remember something from like four months ago. That that that's asking a lot, friend. That's asking a lot. So now another fun thing about this is, since this is a cave, if you want it darker, I can change the ambient lighting. Like say there's fires in here, I can change it to red. Or say it's oceany, I can change it to blue or green. But right now we want it just a tad darker than normal because it's a cave. See? Look at that. Look at that. So, you know, I think for the most part, we're pretty much, do well, almost done. I need a couple more things, like, no, I want the barrels. And I don't want this to snap to the grid right now.
Okay. Yeah, that's another thing we can do in this is, is snap to the grid. And yes, Nora, I will agree with you that it does feel like it's been forever. So, anybody else have anything that they think needs to be added to our little cave map here? Because I think it looks nice. We've got our mushrooms, we've got this little section up here, we've got this here, we've got these here, which may or may not be something. Uh, we've got a little hole down here, uh, it looks like our exit down here, who knows where that leads, we don't know. We might get to that later, we might not. So, ah. You know, how are we all doing it? And I think after this lecture, I think I want to show you guys one other thing, one other map we might have, you know, try and make some more maps. Who knows? Uh, these are kind of uh, where I needed for, for Sunday, and then I got to go through and actually do the rest of the building stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and save this as, as the Omedo Caves. So yeah, we got that, we got that. Everything's sort of good right now for for the maps I wanted to make. But now the question is, where does this cave system lead to? That I don't necessarily want to go, because I haven't decided yet right now. Because uh, it could lead into a swamp, it could lead into a forest, it could, I don't know where exactly it's going to lead into. But, that's kind of where we're at because that's that's the building part that i have to do for some diastasi here so uh so we, we have that so again we have this lovely cave uh, and if we wanted to i can open up we've got the sewers that we just made so these are the two maps that we made uh, there's also a couple other things i can show you here if we want to um uh, actually, this is the map of the haunted house that we we had uh, loading up here. As you can see, it takes a little bit because I have all of the assets to load up. But this is the haunted house that we made, and as you can see, you know we've got the second floor and the first floor uh, all sort of here. Lucky Charms cookie dough. I don't hate that at all. Like, that sounds delicious. What was it supposed to be, Jiggly? So yeah, you can actually, if you want to, uh, with this, you can actually uh, make multiple layers of a floor. And one thing that this uh, that this does is there's a compare levels button here. So say we're on the first floor. We get compare levels. Looks like it froze up on me. It did freeze up on me. So hold on a second as I reload this. Because that was not supposed to happen. But basically, it allows you to um, to compare levels. And if you want to make the same, like, the two floors of a house, they're going to have the same layout. So I can just compare, draw, and have there what I need. So I can't show you everything that I've made here because, well, one of them is kind of a thing. Um, but I will, since we didn't mention, I do have the map here for the bar that um, we, we were in. Uh, this is the cellar. This is the bar where uh, Dovan went to... Where Dovan went to talk to Nadia, and where uh, Domlega supposedly was beforehand. So we do have this uh, lovely little map as well. Um, we have the bar and all that. So, 
again, just another, uh, another fun little thing we have here. Uh, terrain brush. Like, we could have the gravel outside for that. If we wanted to, turn it to cracked earth. So that's just another map that we have that I can I, I can sort of share with you here. Um, so now, I mean, now the question becomes, what are we going to be building? What are we going to be using with these maps? What are we going to be doing with these maps? And well, the the obvious answer here is some of these are here to set the stage. Some of them are here as actual battle maps. Some of them are here as dungeons. So which one is which? That's a, a the you know the wait and see. Come join us in Diastasi to find out. Uh, this is one of the things the 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 harder sort of parts of of running a game that's not just on roll twenty but on roll twenty and being broadcast is that I constantly need visual aids, not just for my players but for for those of you who are watching too, so you can see what we're kind of envisioning here and to me it's one of those situations where i could never find maps that that sort of looked the way i wanted them to and then i found this this amazing tool dungeon draft it's it's absolutely fantastic which has allowed me to again create this bar create the haunted manor create the cave in the sewer we just did and in a situation like this where it's it's all sort of that that you need you need the uh, the visual aid it's awesome so we don't need to worry about discarding changes so uh, we don't need to worry about a template the map size anything like that uh, we don't need to worry about any of the, the the map assets here so what we're gonna do is I just want all the map assets, so we're going to discard this. We're going to load back up the Haunted uh, Manor real quick. Just because that has all of the map assets in it when I load it. So if we make an, uh, all the ones I purchased anyway, that way when we make a new map here, when I go new, we just have all of the assets ready to go as you can see all kinds of fun things like there's bodies there's blood there's alchemy shops yeah and the fun thing is some of these assets are just pre-done so i can just drop them and go like this is a five a five room little abode you know i have all the floors on it then we have things like this this uh bodies thing where you just have a bunch of bodies or a pile of blood or uh, a cart that you can a pull cart, you know, giant barrels, things like that. Or we have clouds, literally just clouds. Giant turtle assets. Literally just a giant, a build your own giant turtle. Not sure why we need to build your own giant turtle, but we have a build your own kind. Oh, also, a just a freestanding giant eyeball, a heart, pretty big heart. Uh, yeah, so we've got creepy green chasm and creepy red chasm, ice tombs, a pool if you want to go swimming. A prison if you need one like some of the assets that, that, that they have here is incredible but uh, I figured I was gonna be making some maps anyway so I figured that uh, I would take the time to sort of you know bring the stream up get a little love on that oh that's actually kind of cool a little chompy plant So 
So just wanted to, to sort of, you know, do that, see how everyone was doing, uh, all that sort of thing. And, and just sort of, you know, make a couple of maps. Bower demons, nice. And, and just to chat, see how everyone was doing. Let everybody know uh, uh, what the plan is that we will be we will be here tomorrow doing our thing. Uh, and, and sort of that thing. So uh, I wish I, I I wish I had more maps I needed to make, but uh, I, I've got the the ones I needed done already. I need to make the sewer in that cave because uh, I know the way that we play. I don't think we'll be getting through. And if we do, that's fantastic. Uh, we'll, we'll get through. If not, then, you know, we have that to look forward to. So, I mean, it is just sort of one of one of those things. I mean, also, I love the fact that these tile sets are called Mermaid Inn. So just like, yeah, just, 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 you know. So. So I guess before we, before I, I, I head out here. Does uh, anybody else have anything they want to bring up? Any suggestions? Anybody else have any... Have any sort of... Uh, theories about where Diastasi is going? Because uh, I would uh, love to hear them if, uh, if there are some. Uh, and if not, um, also, as I'm thinking of seeing this woodland nexus, there's one thing I do want to change. Uh, this is also a, uh, a spoiler for for upcoming here for tomorrow. Oh, hey, look, another map. Um, this woodland nexus, I actually like that better than this rock. actually like that better than the rock that I had there so you guys get to see a, a little spoiler for uh, for tomorrow with that We'll go back to this for a hot minute and then make a new one. Just to have sort of the, the open thing. But anyway, so um, again, I wish I had more, but I, I just need to get a couple of these maps done and out of the way, and I figured I'd, I'd do it here live. Um, I don't have control of the host-o-matic, so the host is just going to go where the host matic goes, um, if it goes anywhere. Uh, but uh with all of that i do thank you all very much for watching uh, i'm going to check and see if i do have the capability of sending a raid somewhere here i don't think i do but we're going to hold on that because if uh we do we're going um, we're going to go somewhere otherwise we're just going to uh, shut it off no big deal um but that is it so while i'm checking all this i do want to again remind everybody that uh tomorrow sunday the 23rd at approximately 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we are going to be going back uh, to Diastasi and, uh, for Episode 4. Uh, so I'm going to send you all over to Adirondack Rick. Uh, Rick's doing some Dr. Mario. Uh, half of you are probably already there already. So uh, head on over to Rick. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and of course, as always, keep hailing.